Just trust me, I've been an agent for X amount of years. Ugh, that is red flag number one as to how you know you're talking to a bad listing agent. Stick around right after this, and we're going to talk about the three red flags that tell you whether you're talking to a bad listing agent and that you might want to run away as fast as possible. Welcome back. I'm Kimberly Mann, and this channel is Real Estate for America, but you probably already know that because you're here. But if you find any value in our content, do us a favor. Click like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our content. And welcome back. So first of all, there are three red flags that you should watch out for when you are ready to sell your home. So first of all, let's define the term listing agent. A listing agent is the agent who actually does the selling of a home that you already own. So we're not going to talk about buyer's agents today. That'll be next week. But the listing agent is the one who says, who comes to your house, they give you an analysis, they give you an evaluation, and they tell you certain things. Now, here are three red flags that you need to avoid if you are talking to a listing agent. Three things so that you know they are bad and they are should be avoided and you might be surprised at what it's not so thing number one first of all just trust me like we said in the intro okay just trust me why you don't know them from adam or maybe your friend used them as a listing agent but your friend's house is very different from your house and maybe your experience isn't the same and maybe what your needs are aren't the same at all and just trust me Oh my goodness, I don't think I've ever said just trust me to a client ever. And the reason is because you don't know who I am. You don't know if I'm any good. You don't know. And why should I be telling you to trust what you don't know at all? What a really good listing agent is going to do is they're going to build your trust during that appointment. They're not going to assume that you should just trust them right off the bat. That's insane. So just trust me is red flag number one that you know that's not a good listing agent. Red flag number two, they don't listen. I don't mean they forget it because you know what? We're all human. Every single agent is human. Please don't forget that. Every single agent is human. And when I say they don't listen, I mean not that they're looking down at their tablet and they're writing lots of notes because that's what some agents do. Some agents are really good at this, but every good agent, even if they're looking at their notes and they're writing down, should come back and make sure they clarify what you're saying. So a good agent to show that they're listening to you should be asking questions to clarify, or at the very least, they should be saying to you, so what you're saying to me is, and maybe reword what you're saying, just to make sure they have it right. Because listening to your needs is number one on the list of things that we as agents, when we are listing a house, should be doing. So thing number two that shows you it's a bad listing agent, they don't listen. Thing number three is they don't have resources, meaning they don't know about home inspectors, about appraisers, about contractors. They don't know which plumbers and HVAC and roofers in the area are the best. Now, that doesn't mean that they're always going to be able to get those people for you because especially at certain times and since COVID especially, it's been very difficult to get contractors to take jobs for listing a home unless you're six months away from listing your home, which is why it's a really good idea to find your listing agent six months before you're selling your home. Because if there are any things that you need to update that will make a huge difference in the price, then you can use those resources that your agent is telling you about because the really best contractors, they're usually booked out three or four months in advance. And that's what makes them so good. They are in high demand. They're not always high priced. And that's the other thing that makes them in good demand. So an agent that doesn't have resources, doesn't know what photographer they're going to use, doesn't know their marketing, doesn't know whether they're going to do open houses, doesn't know any of those things. They don't have the resources that you need in order for them to do a good job. So if they don't know anything about your neighborhood, how can they possibly 
possibly sell your home. And I don't mean that they're new to your neighborhood because that's the thing about a great agent is they might be new to an area, but they still have the resources to cover that area. I work in multiple different markets. I have different resources or I know that I have people who will cover all of these areas and they're willing to go to any of the areas that I'm willing to go to. And so as a result, I know who to look for, I know who to contact, and I know the resources that my client is going to need to help get their house sold. So just to recap, the first thing is just trust me. The second thing is they don't listen to you. And the third thing is they don't have any resources to really make this work. If you find any value in our content, do us a favor, click like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our content. Comment below. I want to hear about the worst listing agent you ever spoke to and what your red flags are. I look forward to seeing your comments below. Bye for now.